Hello artists, in this video we will be creating some spider webs. To do this, we are going to use a watercolor paper or some kind of thick paper, and then I'm creating my lines with a black glue. If you don't have black glue, you could take regular white Elmer's glue and add some black acrylic paint to it. And then to add the colors, we are using watercolor paints, and I'm using my tube style on a palette, and then some paper towels in my brush. I have a variety of brushes, the Royal Softer brushes, the Filberts, favorites. Pour some water to clean my brush and that's about all you need. This is a really cool Halloween painting to make that's super simple for younger learners. All right I'm going to use my black glue and I got to make sure my end isn't closed up and then I'm going to start in a corner and I'm going to squeeze really hard. I'm going to create a diagonal line going all the way across my paper. Now you want kind of a thick paper for this for it to work best. And I'm going to draw another line coming off of that point at a different angle. So it's getting skinny up here on the top left and it gets wider down here on the bottom of it. Okay, then I want to have some curved lines kind of connecting my uh, diagonal lines all the way across here. This will create the spider web effect. All right, a curved line, curved line, curved line and get that all the way across. Curve line, curve line, curve line. There, one more little tiny one here at the top, and then I have my spider web. You have to make sure that your black glue is completely dry before you add your watercolor paint. And it took me two days before I felt it was dry enough, and it was still maybe a little bit of wet because I'm getting some of my colors to mix with black a little bit. So give yourself plenty of time to allow that glue to dry. Okay, so I'm taking my watercolor paints and I want to just kind of use a variety of colors and spread them out across the web as I go to get it nice, bright, and colorful. So I'm cleaning my brush between each time I switch colors so I don't mix up my colors. You can see in the bottom left, um, I smeared my glue a little bit while it was drying, but that's okay. I think it looks fine like that. After I do a first layer, I'm going to dry it completely with my hair dryer, and then I'm going to come back and add a second layer of paint the same color on top of each of them to really kind of get them to be bright and pop out a little bit more. All right, and here is my finished spiderweb painting. I think it turned out awesome. It's a fun, simple way to make a fall Halloween painting. Hey, thanks for joining us on Kid Art Nation. If you enjoyed our videos, it would mean a lot if you liked the videos and subscribed to our channel. Remember, you are important, you are amazing, you are an artist. Ooh.